Uh, this first poem I'm going to read is uh, it's called Too Much Time. It's about the jazz bar or an, uh, mm. yeah, 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 time, but uh, what it used to be really cool. Yeah. I haven't liked it in the last couple of years, yeah. Stepping in time, the quintet is soulfully wandering aloud, belting out a song from the key of life and melody. Modulating forward, they wrap the audience around their finger, policing the crowd with a rhythm section and a flourish. I planned on catching up on some Z's, but not quite like this. My big brother Zach is cooling out, punishing a bar stool, listening to the jazz, offering me a libation and thoughts on liberation, teaching me about the Harlem Renaissance, not like I learned in school. A frothing, cloudy, blonde alligash snaps like an alligator as I squeeze the orange wedge into its wide neck mouth. Alyssa's pupils reflect the touchscreen register at the dimly lit bar, shining in the spotlight. The groovy feel reverberates throughout. Busyness and thoughts of where I need to be float out the window with the rhapsody emanating from five virtuosos laying down a st straight flush, perhaps with a spark and an out-of-pocket swing as I realize my, realize my citrus stops swimming apparently it drowned. A looks to Z and me asking, if not the check, what will it be? A golden monkey howls out my name, breaking the icy silence. The rain removed, it, it belches Belgian, ailing phrase from its ordeal, as it slips into something more com comfortable, a sensuous chalice. The seduction completing, I feign resistance to its coy, dallying presence, an effervescence, an essence of alluring suave, intoxicating, and persuasive. The sax coos and wheezes, minor gusts leaving me breathless, in need of thirst quenching. My desire for understanding, raging, unabated. Spying on ramp, I traffic attention away from Z's personal symphony, bridging back to a hitherto conversation, a lingering vibrato in memory. In a preceding chorus, he called out a particular phrase, and I responded, not knowing the source of my improvisation, just its resonance with me. <clears throat> Later, I put my finger on it. Harlem is what we were talking about. The feeling of rebirth. The notion that injustice has no place on this earth. Langston points out what happens to a dream deferred. It explodes. My intentions slightly differ, different, but still, I'm echoing it for all it's worth. A little uh, technological problems too with the internet and Facebook. So um, I'm limiting what, what I can read. Um, I'm going to read a, sh a short poem from memory. It's called uh, Echo. As I pour my words into the funnel of your ear, my hope is, a whisp is that a whisper remains after I've departed, an echo of myself resounding within, growing from a murmur into a mounting drumbeat, percussing a rhythm that reverberates and fills up the chamber of your heart. And this last poem, um, this is all, besides being an anniversary of reading here, it's also an anniversary of me becoming a poet, which happened like exactly six years ago today. It was kind of like a mystical experience, but, uh, kind of a little, little alcohol involved too. Um, but I had I, been thinking, um, one of my best friends uh, was diagnosed with um, pancreatic cancer and uh, started to think a lot about death and uh, wanting to leave something behind after I'm gone. Uh, but this is uh, dedicated to my friend Ken. It's called uh, Token of Friendship. Walk proudly into the heart of the setting sun. May the dusk and your essence fuse into one. As the smoldering horizon disappears behind a black curtain of night, a sullen moon phases into existence. Veiled behind dark clouds of mourning, the heavens bow their heads in silence, receiving a valiant and humble soul into their ranks to glimmer 
forevermore. Upstage, sunlight is held at bay, awaiting its call. Torrents descend throughout this longest day until no more tears can fall from the sky. Purge clouds dissipate into nothingness, revealing a dignified celestial cast of stars, an ensemble with the brightest of additions, looking down on me, giving me strength throughout all my moments of darkness. Shine upon me, radiate your gallant light. I shall feel your presence pulsing in my chest. When I feel besieged like you, I shall fight, knowing deep inside, I've given it my best. Thank you. Please sign up on the mailing list if you want to kind of be informed about future events. And uh, I'm probably going to look to do some, another reading in the next month or so. And uh, well, hopefully I'll see everybody again. Thanks.